I'm Felicity Santos from Poly World, St. Paul College, Pasig. Beatrice Puente from the Philippine Collegian, UP Diliman. Roy, I am from National Teachers College. I run the publication. It's Piet Lux. I'm Russell Ku, and I'm from the Ateneo de Manila University, the Gaidan. Marian De Jesus from the College Editors Guild of the Philippines and also studying in the University of the Philippines, Manila. Bryn Rizuli Isaac, and I am from the University of Santo Tomas. Claire Pilios, and I'm from the Boson University of Asia and the Pacific. Leon Jane A. Pantorilla, I am a feature writer from Heraldo Filipino of De La Salle University, Dasman. Bea May Tapanan from University of the Philippines, Diliman, Sinag Publication. Denise Lau, mula Matanglawin, Ateneo. Erika Nieto from De La Salipa, Owl Magazine, and Utak Berde. There are various threats the funding, administrative intervention, and censorship. Red tagging, censorship, and repression. Press freedom is being attacked with misinformations and trolls spread the fake news, misinformation and disinformation. Intimidation. Students aren't allowed to speak out. The threats to press freedom in this country are the silencing of the dissenters and the truth tellers. Censorship. Censorship. I think the press is the backbone of democracy. As much as journalism wants to um, be separated from activism, it also actually overlaps and I think it also goes hand in hand. Through campus journalism, kapag mas maraming nakakaalam, maraming aware, mas maraming um, collective action na mangyayari. The stories I prefer to write and have my staff as well try to look into or stories outside of our school. We need to step down and see what is going on with our country. Yung konsepto ng lalabas ka sa real world after ng um, university life mo ay hindi totoo kasi yung university ay situated din siya within the society na may, kapag may malaking problema ang kinakaharap yung lipunan, involved ka dun. Kailangan um, nandyan yung efforts ng collegian to reach out to the students kasi hindi lang naman tayo na, hindi lang naman kami nasa ivory tower na kami yung lalapitan at all times. Hindi tayo sa puntong wala, wala tayong kinikilingan. Kinikilingan ko po yung krotohanan. I chose to become a mover because this allows us to see past our privilege and really get to work with people on the ground. I choose to become a mover and it's not just to produce articles but to produce critical thinkers. Well, I choose to become a mover to share and heard stories. I choose to be a mover because I believe in the power of social action to drive change in our country today. I want to be able to tell the stories that some people do not want to hear. I want to be able to be of service to my community by telling stories of um, people who are voiceless, who are marginalized. I like the way that journalism allows me to reach out to the people who believe that they're unreachable. And the way that journalism allows us to uncover the untold truths, un missing perspectives. Pero alam ko po kasi, naniniwala po ko na lahat naman po kapukaw-pukaw. Kailangan mo lang hanapan ng angulo kung saan mo siya titignan at dun sa angulong mas maintindihan siya ng mga tao. We need Ateneo to be socially aware what's happening outside of the world. Or else we live like in, we live in a bubble but we never get to know the perspectives of you know um, other sectors such as the marginalized sectors, such as the um, such as women, LGBT, um, indigenous people, and, and farmers. Sa buong paper po, I think, one of the topics that we were most passionate about ay yung sa issue po ng Philippine General Hospital. So we uh, published uh, a news article regarding that, exposing how state neglect, um, the funding, budget cuts affect um, the people who need services from the hospital. Nakita namin na sobrang haba ng pila, sobrang... Um, hindi talaga na sesarbisyohan ng maayos yung mga mamamayan. Nakita namin na ito talaga yung mat, um, manifestation ng budget cut, ng budget cut na iniimpose ng Congress, ng government. I choose to be a mover because we have a duty to report the truth. We have to fight for what is right. Ang my first coverage po sa Move PH ay nung Taal eruption. Hindi ko po makakalimutan ay nung nagpunta po ako sa Agoncillo, Batangas. Ang misa ay ginanap sa gilid ng simbahan. Sobrang napukaw lang po ako dun sa time na nag-o-offer na sa simbahan. Alam natin na naapektuhan ng mga ito, pero halos lahat sila nagbigay ng kaya nilang ibigay. I choose to be a mover to give my community access to the information they need. 
courage is not simply giving up on the school administration's situation that they cannot hear nor understand what you want, uh, what you want to happen. So it is also standing up to them and still respecting them. Para po sa akin yun po ang definition ko ng tapang, ang pagsulat kahit ka natatakot. Dahil alam mo na kapag sinulat mo ang mga bagay na ito ay merong mga makakabasa at maapektuhan. Hindi talaga mawawala yung takot eh na may mga nag-message sa'yo, may mga nangaharas sa'yo, physically uh, parang sinusundan ka. Courage na yon yun yung nagdadrive pa rin sa akin na patuloy na magsulat at maglathala. Kung hindi talaga natin isisiwala at walang mangyayari amid all these attacks that um, the, the government throws at activists, at the media. We have to stand our ground, we have to tell the truth, report the truth. And as members of the student press, kinakailangan nating kumilos, umaksyon, at mag-take part para sa pagbabago.